I'm a little disappointed that I'm not feeling that I'm talking to a youthful group. Uh, and the organizers have already told me that you'll be interacting with the, some of the brightest minds of Tirupati. And I really want some roar so that I can really present what my ideas are. Because I'm a person from passion. Can I have a roar? A little more. A little more. Right. The reason I asked every one of you to roar is life is truly a roar rather than sitting silently at one point. We, can, we cannot absolutely govern the rules of this universe, but we have the ability and privilege to rule, to make rules for our own hearts. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Thank you. Every single one of us here really wants to achieve something, right? Every single one of us have dreams, have passion, but which is absolutely dormant. We attend colleges, we attend schools, but ultimately what we need to do is still somewhere saying, okay, I want to achieve a little more. This is not my true profession. I have, I'm made or I'm built to do something more, right? Okay. I'm truly fired up to really connect with you for one single reason that I'm also from the same place. I also went to the same college, but I have achieved something which is very close to my heart and close to my passion, really, wo really working for my ideas. Fundamentally, when I was in college, I was profoundly struck by a single challenge that whatever the youth potential that India has, has not been realized fully. This is the greatest time in the history of the mankind that we can truly achieve two challenges. Number one, to realize the unfulfilled potential which is within every single individual of us and the world. And the second, to really stop the dangers which we can stop. Agree? Agree? Right. I have seen lots of students. When I was in college, I have started a startup called Achieve, through which I have connected to many of the students. And some of the findings that I got from them is really awesome. Number one, out of the 62 students who might not be very good at their career in their college, had a passion had a passion to do something. Second, the resources out for every single one of us to realize our dreams are abundant. But what I truly found is that there is a disconnect between them. Students are not engaged at their engage. Truly, there is a very big disengagement quotient that exists with our engineering college graduates, to the schools, to the primary school level too. Why? Reason number one, they don't love what they're doing. And this is a big, kind of bigger and bigger problem, but when we try to unknot each, every single one of us, one of them, I really found that students are not able to make their career decisions properly. Agree? Agree? Yes. Why? Is it that something wrong with the students or is it something wrong with any other thing? S 
seriously this career decision which will put us to 90,000 hours a minimal in our life is not taken a great care it deserves. Part of the problem will be with the students, part of it will be with the parents, part of it will be with the society, part of it will be with the friends, but overall this is a big challenge which needs strong action. Right? I have seen so many people with so many dreams, so much of enthusiasm, but they are not able to achieve what they really want. What is stopping them from? And this disengagement is something which I really wanted to solve it. For that, I have group, uh, grouped up with some of my friends and I've started something called Achieve, in which we took the students off beat. We, we initially started to understand the students. We asked them what their passions are. Then we started with what we can, how we can help with them. Right? Okay. Let me tell you this way. How many of you have passion in your heart? Something. You can raise it full. If there are 100 people, I'm sure that 100 of them raised, right? And within us, we have enormous potential. It is said, the hardest of the battles are fought in the silent chambers of the soul. Right? Every single day, we think about how we can actualize ourselves, how we can realize the unfulfilled potential within us. Right? And for a student who really goes into a school, he will have nothing other than that of some dreams with him. But what is happening to those dreams? What is our education system doing for that? Is that dreams don't die, dreams just dilute. You get into a school, those dreams has to get protected. Those dreams has to get actualized. But what actually is happening with the colleges today is that a person who has great dreams, if he attends a college, there are more chances that his self-confidence is decreasing. Not because that whatever is being taught in the school is wrong, but there is something more phenomenal which has to happen at the school and university level that will shape the careers of the students. All that they need, all every single individual of who wants to realize their potential needs is a little guidance, right? Any person who ever is successful will at some point or the other would have gained that small bit of career guidance from some source or the other. Maybe from a relative, maybe from a friend, maybe from, a, from the college, maybe from the conversations people have. But finally that what matters. And when people don't get that, when cannot choose their own options, there the problem lies. Right? How many of you subscribe to this? How many of you agree that career decision is the most important decision in life? Because some way or the other, career decision will really impact all of our life. The kind of places you roam around, the kind of life you lead, really depends upon the career decision. And when a student is making that decision, okay, he is not getting into the crux of the problem, but he's gaining but he's not decisive, right? And coming to the part of the youth services, whatever the youth services India has today are bits of islands. Education is at a different sphere. 
is a different department. For the youth to roam around, okay, that's a different department. And career decisions, it's a different department. But what essentially is required is that how do we connect all these through so that we can do some collaborative thing is something which I'm aiming at and which I'm fired up to do. Thank you so much.